Since Warzone released back in March 2020, Raven Software continues to add a wealth of assault rifles to the ever-expanding arsenal through the integration of other titles and the seasons of post-launch content. With Season 3 of the Battle Royale of the way, there's been a shift to the ever-changing metagame thanks to Raven Software. Due to regular changes to how weapons perform on the streets of Caldera and Rebirth Island, it can be difficult to determine which is the best assault rifle to use as part of a loadout. With that said, here's our definitive Warzone assault rifle tier list. With so many viable options, it is tricky to pick an AR that stands out from the crowd. If we were to pick one that stands out from the rest, we'd recommend the Automaton from Vanguard. Its fast rate of fire combined with surprisingly low recoil makes it very strong in mid-range and long-distance duels. With a total of 34 assault rifles to choose from, more rifles are expected to arrive as the Pacific era continues to progress. But for now, here is our S-tier list of assault rifles. This set of ARs is widely considered to be the very best in Warzone, with the likes of the Automaton standing out from the rest of the crowd thanks to its immense damage output and minimal recoil with the right set of attachments equipped. The most recent AR to join S-tier is the Cooper Carbine, which is proving popular with pro Warzone player Aiden. Following nerfs to Black Ops Cold War AK-47, it's dropped from S into A-tier, but it still packs a punch. The most recent arrival to A-tier is the Nikita AVT that made its debut in the Season 3 update. Despite its impressive fire rate, it's tricky to control when shooting at a faraway target. Some of these weapons once dominated the meta, but after receiving a number of nerfs, they've slowly tumbled down the order. The AMAX still features some incredible damage, but the recoil levels aren't worth the hassle, even with a strong combination of attachments. The QBZ and the RAM 7 are viable options for those looking for a mobile AR to use, but will need the right loadout in order to achieve success. These weapons never really set the meta on fire with any of their attributes, which is why they're so far down the list. There could be instances where the likes of the Fallon Scar are useful, but we recommend avoiding them for something else higher up the list. All three of these assault rifles will give you no advantages if you opt to use them as part of a loadout. Each of them have poor performances in numerous categories, meaning it's definitely worth looking into some other tiers for a more viable assault rifle to use. There you have it. That's our definitive assault rifle tier list for Warzone. Let us know what you think in the comments.